Hey there guys, Ishek from Shectic here. Welcome to another video. So are you having some bad Wi-Fi at your home? Not able to get some good signal at certain parts of your house and all your internet speeds are a bit slow over the Wi-Fi? Why not try setting up a Wi-Fi mesh network? Today's, in today's video, we're going to be looking specifically at the TP-Link MC5 um, wireless uh, Wi-Fi mesh system. Uh, this is a pretty mid-range to low-end mesh system, so it wouldn't break your bank um, using this. Uh, it has the AC1300 technology behind it, so you still got that AC wireless network speed. So it's still pretty fast. Um, you have your dual bands here. You got the 5 gigs and the 2.5 gigahertz that you usually get nowadays on your default routers. But the cool thing is this mesh package comes with your main new router and two more access points that you can place around your house for greater coverage. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how we set this all up and yeah, and what the pros and cons of this is. Cool. So let's take a look at what we have here. Um, looking at the boxes, you can see, as I mentioned, we have the dual bands, so the 2.5 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz band. So you can connect to whatever one. Maybe you can set up a guest to run on 2.5 gigahertz. Um, and connect over 100 devices, dead zone killer, which is pretty much the primary purpose of this, and full gigabyte Ethernet ports on each of the access points, which is awesome. Also to note, um, it is compatible with Amazon Alexa. If you get the, if you can splurge a little bit and go for the M9, I believe, you can also pair it up with other um, smart home devices, which is really awesome, and things there. There's some extra um, controls you can have on these devices, such as parental controls and antivirus, which is also really awesome to have. Um, looking at the back, you can see the general gist of what we're going to be setting up here. You can set these access points around the house, spread them out, so that everywhere in the house you get a good strong signal of Wi-Fi, which is awesome. So, opening the box. We shall open the box. And so here... Here is the main thing, nice presentation here. As you can see, we use an app, the TP-Link Deco app, to really just set this up, and apparently it will walk us through, so that will make it really simple for us. We have a light status indicator, which is cool. And yeah, and here are the three um, access points themselves. Um, as you can see, they each come with two Ethernet, uh, gigabyte Ethernet ports on them. Each, they're really small in the hand as well, and they kind of look quite nice, so you could probably put them anywhere around the house without being too obtrusive with them. Um, let's pull these out, put them to a side, and then inside the box you can see we have three uh, power packs for each of the devices. Um, it is just a nice, simple power brick and power cable for each um, for each endpoint, and also you get a complementary Ethernet cable to attach to your existing input connection, which is either a fiber or VDC, VDSL connection. And then that is a very simple looking setup. So now let's get to the setup. Okay, so the first thing they're gonna want you to do when we're setting this up is to download the TP-Link Deco app. So it's both available on the uh, Android store and the iOS app store as well. So I've, I've downloaded it and um, here we go, I'll open it up. So it's gonna bring you to this page, it's gonna request you to sign up and make your own Deco account. I'll quickly do that and then I'll run us through that. So we, here we have it, we're into the app now. I've made an account, really simple, all they require is an email and then you gotta set up some passwords, which is fine. Here's the home screen, it says let's paint your home in Wi-Fi, let's begin. Uh, let's go to our settings here and we gotta allow it so that it has access to our local network, which is done. Which is awesome so i said i've already given access and here you go so now you want to identify which which deco you have so which i was mentioning the m9 plus um, if you're really into smart home systems um, this is a really good product but here we have the m5 so i'm going to tap on that and here it tells you exactly what you need so you need one of your deco access points power adapter and ethernet cable which are all included in the box as i showed earlier and then we click next then how it works is you uh, power off your modem. So one of the, the first steps is to power off your modem. So that's what I'm gonna do. Mine's located at the back here and I will switch it off. Uh, and I'll switch it off, which I'll do right now. And there we go, the modem's turned off. You can see this is our default router that we got from our internet provider. 
Um, usually a lot of people stick with these, but a lot of times these aren't the best. Um, this is the Vodafone router in specific, and we're gonna be swapping this out with our new M5 um, option. So here we go, um, for this next step, you wanna grab one of the your M5 access points. You're gonna to wanna to grab your the provided ethernet cable, and you wanna provide grab your power brick. And these are things you're gonna need. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is essentially this access point is gonna replace the existing router. Uh, what you wanna do is grab the uh, LAN cable directly from your modem. Uh, simply this cable, this is directly from our fiber modem. And you wanna plug it into the back of this, into one of the uh, LAN ports. Doesn't matter which one. Um, cool, everything's plugged in. And then you just want it to power on an orange light on top. Um, this signifies it's on standby mode. Um, everything's powering up. As you can see, since I've powered back on the modem, it might take a little while for everything to turn back on. So after a couple of minutes, uh, you'll notice that the internet is back up after I powered it on. You'll see that LED light is back on and the TP, TP link is now blinking in a blue LED. So next, next you want to grab the app. You, will be, you should be following along in the app. Um, it will actually use the Bluetooth on your phone to try and pair with it. Uh, let's turn this on. So, let's go. So Deco's LED, as you can see, is pulsing blue. And there we go. So now it's saying, looking for Deco. Um, it'll be looking for this. Boom, connected straight away. That was kind of quick. Uh, really easy pairings. We're now paired with that deco here and here you can now say where have you placed it, where have you not. So I'm just going to say for this one it's in the living room and then what it's going to do is detect the internet connection type. Uh, it's a, it's a, a dynamic IP. Duh, 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 duh. We'll take that, we'll take the automated settings and it's creating your Wi-Fi network. You can give it a name and a password. Um, I'll put these in and then we'll go to the next step, but I'll let you, you would be able to put whatever you want, set up your own password and network name. I've entered in a, my own custom network name and I also set up a password for this Wi-Fi network. And now Deco in the app is it's creating this Wi-Fi network. And as you can see, it's putting out the details. Of course, I'll blur this out on my screen. And then you click connect. And it'll click join. Found it, connected. Testing the internet connection. Deco is now online. And it is now up and running. To use, please control device to Deco network and click done. Now we're gonna we wanna add more decos, but just to confirm our internet's working, I'm just gonna go access something on the internet just to confirm that it is working. So let's go. Um, and beautiful the internet is working now on to adding the next deco let's click add another deco we have an M5 select the layout that looks so in here you want to select the type of layout that best represents your house um, I've got a two story house um, and yeah now Let's go grab another deco and place it into another part of the house where we think the uh, network strength isn't as strong. Less than 100 feet away from the original TP deco access point. Um, all I've done is just plugged it into the wall and waited until it's gone to a blue blinking light as uh, expected from the app. Um, this was our previous solution for extending the Wi-Fi. This is just your regular plug and play Wi-Fi extender, but it didn't work as well as he hoped. So here we have this out. So now that it is plugging, uh, I mean, while it's, it's pulsing blue, we're gonna click on the app. Uh, Deco LED is pulsing blue. And here you go, it's pretty much a similar, um, similar situation to what happened in the previous access point we set up. But in this case, we're pairing from a deco to another deco. So what it's gonna do is try and find that other deco that we set up previously and make a connection. So as you can see, it's looking. Uh, and while you're doing this, make sure your phone is connected to the Shaktik network. 
and there you go it's found the deco again you have the option to label where this is I'm going to say this is in a hallway and it's going to connect to the network optimizing your network so I guess it's trying to just find the best routing around this and boom completed um, I'm going to go ahead and set up the other deco downstairs it's going to be the exact same process and then I'll catch you up after that so hey there guys, that brings us to the conclusion of the video. As you can see, I was able to set up essentially the whole Wi-Fi mesh network in the space of less than maybe 15 minutes. Pretty much you just had to follow the phone, it guided you through every step of the way. Uh, it was pretty much a plug and play system and everything really just paired up quite easily. Now pretty much the entire house has full Wi-Fi strength, um, which wasn't the case before. And yeah, the Wi-Fi speeds have been held up quite well. So this is the internet speeds, as you can see. Uh, we have a 305 megabytes per second download, which is pretty decent over the Wi-Fi. Um, and then a pretty much a solid 29.3 megabits per second upload um, over the Wi-Fi. So this is all on the new network. And yeah, as you can see, it's pretty much held up quite well. Cool. So yeah, that really brings us to the end of the video. Hopefully this was an informative video and how a showcase of how simple it is to set up your own mesh network. Um, as I mentioned, everything is through the app. It guides you step by step and everything was set up within the space of less than 15 minutes. Um, the app that you get with the, with the network is really simple as well. You can see what devices are connected to your network, you can set up your parental controls and you can even set up some antivirus filters for malicious content and etc if you need to. It is a trend micro based um, system on this set of mesh networks but it will change depending on what mesh network you get. I definitely recommend this mesh network for a house that's relatively big, three to five bedroom house um, and you're not purely using Wi-Fi for your gaming or you're doing anything such as that. Uh, especially if you're doing gaming, I'd recommend a hardwired connection. Um, but other than that, this mesh network will suit everyone else's need for multimedia, streaming, checking your emails, web browsing, all around the house, and should give you great coverage, which is awesome. And yeah, and that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Comment down below if you have any questions, anything specific you want to see regarding this mesh network. And yeah. I'll catch you in the next one. Eyeball one, and see you in the next one. Peace.